That's it, Ronnie. That's everything I got on him. Yeah, just run his information through every database. And I mean every database you can, okay? Well, there's just something about this guy. I, I, I gotta know everything that you can find out about him, okay? All right, thanks again. Thanks for everything, Ronnie. What are you listening to? I don't know. There's no labels on these. What is this place? Your grandmother's? No, a guy I know told me about this place. So, what's your answer? Odd job. Odd job. I give you ten minutes to think about the question and you come up with odd job? Definitely the best Bond villain ever. I don't know. If not odd job, then who? Christopher Walken played a great bad guy. I was referring to the best character villain, not the best actor that played a villain. What makes our job so special? He had everything. The razor-sharp hat, could crush a golf ball with his bare hands, and he never talked. The best villains never talk. It gives him that air of villainy. That Indian guy from Octopussy, he could crush dice with his bare hands. Are you really comparing a pair of dice to golf balls? Not to mention the fact that your contradiction comes from a Bond movie with Roger Moore. Are you saying Roger Moore is an inferior Bond? Have you even seen Goldfinger? Yeah. Then how on earth can you claim that Roger Moore is better than Sean Connery? I'm not saying that. I just want to know where you stand on the whole Moore-Connery debate. There is no fucking debate. Sean Connery is the best Bond ever. Period. What about Pierce Brosnan? What about him? He's not bad. He's not Sean Connery either. All right, I guess you made your point. <laughs> I thought you quit. I'm trying, but nights like this make it difficult. We don't have to do this, you know. We could just walk away. That's bullshit and you know it. Who are we to take the law in our own hands? Don't confuse this with justice. Maybe if this was about justice... Come on, we have the chance to secure our financial futures. You see that, right? Yeah. So what's the problem? You having second thoughts? Just making sure this is the correct path. What the hell does that mean? I thought it would be easier than this. I thought once we were here and everything was ready, I can do it. But now, in the moment, all my life, I've been traveling along the straight and narrow. And now I find myself standing in front of this new path. It... I'm contemplating walking through the gates of hell. One million dollars for each of us. I don't think I could look at myself in a mirror if we do this. You remember Johnny Parma? The hitman? Stone Cold Killer. I asked him once how he could live with himself after all the people he killed. What did he say? He said he never looked beyond the mirror. Beyond the mirror? I don't get it. Neither did I. Until today. You see, the mirror shows us everything. A reflection of self. So on the surface, you see the facade we all wear for the world. But if you look deeper, beyond the mirror, you see the real you. But you don't show it to anybody for fear of judgment. Because that person's capable of anything. 
So you separate yourself and become blind to the monster that lies beyond the mirror. Or if you lose that blindness, you're going to see that that monster is really you. You want me to lie to myself? Do whatever to keep the monsters at bay. I have to use the bathroom. After the bathroom, you need to make your decision. One million dollars? For each of us. Let's do it. But we'll leave these here. Exactly what? 